GCSE Pod already lets you create questions and send detailed feedback to your students. However, we've made this even easier by creating a bank of over 14,000 questions. These questions have all been written by members of the GCSE Pod community, so as more teachers add more questions, the bank will rapidly grow. Let's have a go at creating an assignment using some of these pre written questions. From the GCSE Pod dashboard homepage, Click Create an Assignment, and then click the large blue button to get started. First, we need to decide which pods we want the students to watch. To do this, first select the relevant department from the list. We're going to look at Sciences. Now choose the subject. We're going to look at Biology. A list of topic areas will appear underneath. You may need to scroll down to view the whole list. This list of topics will be pre-filtered to only show those that are relevant to the exam board in your school. In this case, the topics we are looking at are for AQA Biology. Click a topic. We'll look at Nerves and Hormones, then scroll down to view the list of titles. You can see beside each title how many pods are contained within. Remember that each pod is only about 3 to 4 minutes long. Click the title to view the pods within it. In this example, you can see that the nervous system title contains two pods, the central nervous system and the reflex arc. Beside each pod is a small green number. This tells you how many pre-written questions are available. So if you're limited on time, try and choose pods with a higher number beside them, as they'll have more questions for you to access. To watch a pod before you add it, simply click the play icon and you'll be able to watch a preview. Let's do that now for the central nervous system. If you're happy with that pod, tick the box beside it to add it to your list. We'll add both of these to our list. To review the list of pods you've chosen, just scroll up and you'll find it on the right-hand side. The cross icon will remove any pods if you change your mind, and if you want to change the order the pods are shown in, just click the arrow icon. Once you're happy, just scroll down and click Go to Next Step to move on. This is where we add questions to your assignment. You can either add pre-written questions, create your own, or use a mixture of both. If you prefer not to set any questions at all, perhaps you just want to recommend that students watch some pods, just click Skip This Step. We're going to add some pre-written questions to our assignment by clicking Choose a Question. You can see there are 50 questions available at the moment for this topic. The questions within the bank have all been written by members of the GCSE pod community so they're a fantastic way to save time. Just be aware that you may want to check them, for example to make sure they fit your school's exam specification before you use them in your assignment. If you're short on time, we recommend the multiple choice only option. You can see here that for this topic, there are 21 multiple choice questions available. Multiple choice questions are marked automatically, so this is a great option if you have limited time. To start adding questions, click the plus icon beside the topic name to reveal the two pods we added to the assignment. Click the plus again to reveal the questions. For multiple choice questions, you'll be able to see the question itself, the possible answers, and the correct answer. If you'd like to report an issue with the question, just click the little flag beside it and we can investigate further. Once you've found a suitable question, click the Add button to add it to your list. Let's add one or two to this assignment. To switch to free text questions, just click Free Text Only. Free text questions are extremely useful when you're checking students' in-depth knowledge. For this question type, you'll see the question and number of marks available. These questions won't auto-mark, so you'll have the chance to review the student's answer yourself and leave detailed written feedback for each student. We're going to add a free text question for the second pod in our list, called the Reflex Arc. To do this, we need to close the section we're on and then click the plus icon to reveal the available questions for the reflex arc. Again, click Add to include any questions in your assignment. Once you've added some questions, you're able to edit them, delete them, view the number of marks available for the questions, and see the number of pods which are relevant to each question. This last part is really important. If a student gets this question wrong, or partially wrong, these are the pods that will be included in a boost playlist that's automatically generated for the student after they submit the assignment. The boost playlist will help the student fill their knowledge gaps by providing relevant content 
based on their areas of weakness. Let's go ahead and edit one of these questions. Once a question is in edit mode, you have complete freedom to edit any part of the question. You can even change a multiple choice question into a free text question if you want to make it a little trickier, or vice versa. Any changes you make will be saved automatically, so you never have to worry about losing your work as you go along. If at this point you'd like to go back and add some more pre-written questions, simply click Browse Questions. However, for this example, let's quickly add in our own question to this assignment. To do this, open the list of questions by clicking Show Details, and then click Create My Own Question. Choose your question type, we're going to go for Free Text, and then enter your question. We'll just call this Question 5. Now add in the number of marks available for this question. We'll go for three marks. The student will be told how many marks are available as they complete the question. At the bottom of the page, you can decide which pods this question is relevant to. We're going to say that this question is relevant to the Reflex Arc pod. This pod will be recommended to the student in their Boost playlist if they get this question wrong or partially wrong. When you come to mark the assignment, you'll be able to override the system and remove pods from the student's Boost playlist, if appropriate. For example, if they get two out of the three marks available for the question, you may decide that they don't need to revise the pods again. If you don't want the Boost playlist to be affected by any student's answer to this question at all, just untick the box next to Make Pods Available for Boost Playlist. Finally, you'll see that as default, your new question will be added to the Community Question Bank. If you'd prefer it not to be included, just untick the box. However, we do recommend submitting your question for community use if possible, as the more people that submit questions, the faster the bank will grow. And that's it, your question is now added to the list. We can see it by scrolling up and clicking Show Details, and there it is at the bottom. If you decide not to include it, you can always delete it using the little bin icon. Once you're completely happy with your questions, just scroll down and click Go to Next Step. Now we're going to fill in some basic details about this assignment. First, we'll give it a name. Let's call this Nervous System Test. This will be the assignment name seen by the students. The description is optional and only seen by you and other colleagues in your school. You can add in information that may help to remind you of the purpose of this assignment, such as the level or cohort type it's suitable for. Student instructions are also optional, but are a handy tool for adding in some extra direction for students. You can also include links to other online resources here, if you want the students to access something in addition to the pods. We'll just say, watch the pods, then answer the questions. Tagging allows other teachers to search for your assignment by keyword. For example, an English assignment on Romeo and Juliet might be tagged with Shakespeare. This can help teachers in your school find your assignment quickly. Finally, set an assignment deadline. Students can still submit assignments after this deadline, however their submission will be flagged as late, so you know it wasn't on time. Once you're ready, click Go to Next Step. We need to decide which students will receive this assignment. In this example, we're going to use an existing group, Class 4B, but you can also create a new group by clicking the orange button here. Once you've selected your group, or groups, click Go to Next Step. This is the final step in the process, and your last chance to review the assignment before publishing to students. To make any changes, simply click Edit next to any section. Once you're happy, click Publish and Assign and it will appear automatically on the GCSE pod homepage of the selected students, ready for them to complete. You may notice a pop-up with a unique web link for this assignment. You can copy and paste this link to add it to another resource, such as Show My Homework, or if you'd like to email a reminder to students to complete the homework task. To finish the process, click Close.